In this video, I am going to demonstrate about a processor called update attribute. So in order to do that, let's drag a process group and name it as update attribute demo. Let's go into the process and create a file using a process called generate flow file. So this will generate a random flow file. Uh, and let's zoom in a little bit. So let's configure this. It will generate file size of um, zero byte and batch size of one. Well, let's generate batch size of um, two. Uh, I mean, which means it will generate two files at a time. Click OK. And then the data format is text and rest of them I'm leaving as it is. All it does is it generate a zero byte files two at a time. Let's click apply. And if I hover, only the relationship success is invalid because I need to connect it to another processor. Now we can drag a processor called update attribute. So usually when the file is generated, the file will have the default, uh, uh, will have the default attributes. The file, uh, the, the files that are generated from the generate flow file will have default um, attributes such as file name, file size, etc. Let's connect this to update attribute. Okay. And then just start run once. It When we do this, it should generate two flow files. It's, if you see the out is two, zero bytes, two files with zero. And if I list queue and inspect the flow files that got generated you're going to see the file names or uuids and then if we click on a particular file the file name is same as uuid and then it has attributes file name path and uuid so i can click ok cancel this now these are queued at update attributes so what here I can do is I can update attributes of the flow file that are generated by the generate flow file processor. Either we can delete an existing attribute or we can add an additional attribute or we can modify the existing attributes. All three can be done via update attribute processor. In order to delete, we can use, we can, we need to fill this one. Um, so here we can set as, it is not a mandatory, but if you want to delete an attribute, we can write an expression to delete that. But for now, if you want to an attribute, it says file name is already exist, but I just name, uh, it's it, the attribute property name is called file name. Let's create a duplicate F name, which is also a file name. I just want to make a simple one so if this is done i can refer that to the actual file name itself and add dot txt to the file name that you generated right now the uuid is a file name i'm just adding dot txt after that uuid so just a file name and then I just append with .txt, right? So with this configuration, the next, uh, if, we, if we can inspect the next queue, the next connection, we can see an F name property is also added to that. So click on apply. And then drag a funnel here and then connect that update processor to this funnel and then just run once 
a refresh. So we got one file passed from this earlier queue to this queue. So let's inspect this list queue. And if I click this, I click on attributes, you can see a F name that is an additional attribute that we created as the same name of the file name appended with .txt. So this is the new attribute that we created using the update process, update attribute processor. Also, there is one more settings called advanced. If you click on advanced here, you can make uh, additional values, additional expressions that we can set on existing. Um, this is a basic one. This, this is a basic one, but we can also do some uh, advanced attributes as well. Uh, we have to create a rule name, size, file size, or say that um, size based. size based rule is size based i added that and then expression here can be uh, if a file size is less than or equal to uh, one 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 byte then we can make it as a we can name the file as a small file and if it is large bigger than that we can name it as a bigger so in order to do that Sorry about that. My session got expired. I just re-logged into it. If I click on properties, I already did that fname.txt. We already observed it. And let me save this as size-based decision. Here in the expression, I can do If file size, I'm converting it to two number. And then if it is less than or equal to zero, if this condition happens, then the action should be taken then the attribute is earlier it was f name i can also um, set a new attribute when the condition is met earlier for every flow file uh, the name is changed as a new attribute is added for every flow file irrespective of uh, all i mean there is no constraints but now only we are adding a new attribute for example it says earlier it was file name just i'll F, F name, I will just name it as FN and then file name dot uh, since this is a very less file, we can uh, make it as uh, low or anything uh, file happen zero by dot txt so all i'm doing is if it is less than zero bytes or less than equal to one i'm making that as a zero byte txt i can add this value and then i can save this here it will say rule size based was saved successfully what happens now is
if I refresh and then if I start run once about the about uh, update processor, the second file is also come to this queue. When I list this queue, this is the second file that it got. When you see these attributes, you will see size based as an attribute and also f name with zero byte dot txt since it's zero byte. For, um, if you inspect the first file, you don't see an attribute f fn here. It's just have file name and uh, f name. But for the second one, it will have file name, f name, and also the fn, which is criteria based. If I put a file which is greater than zero bytes, okay, let me do that stuff. Configure. Right now, I'm not sending zero bytes. I'm just using 100 bytes here. Okay, and then apply. Run once. Refresh. Now, I got two files with 100 bytes. And then run once. In that two queue, it, got, it just pulled one of them. So it, let's inspect the third one. List queue. I got a new one. This doesn't have FN because it's not zero bytes, which is condition is not met. So the difference between a basic rule and an advanced rule in update attribute, this is a basic one. This, the basic one will be added for every flow file that is passed through this conf, uh, processor. But in advanced, the attribute is added to only the files which met certain criteria based upon the condition that we mentioned here. And then only based upon that condition and that action, which is adding an attribute is done here. So that's the difference. And uh, we have seen those differences in the uh, actual attributes that are listed in the uh, queue. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I hope you got um, a good understanding of update attributes. So this can be used in your flows based upon your requirements. But this is a basic understanding of that. Thank you. Have a great day. Please subscribe to the channel.